All right, it's been a busy weekend with all of the 100% LHR Unlock software being released. Uh, with uh, NiceHash was first. They came out, and it's looking good with NiceHash. It is the most stable for me. Next came NB Miner. They have 100% LHR Unlock in Windows and on Linux, which also means Hive OS. And the nice thing about MB Miner, you can mine to the pool. You choose two miners, Ethermine, Hager uh, Dash, Dashimoto, which is nice hash, whatever you want to do. That's the that's the beauty of using the NB Miner. Also on the horizon, I know T Rex. They're working very hard on their test release for the 100% uh, LHR unlock. So hopefully we'll see that in a day or two, and that's the one I'm probably going to stick with because I do like T-Rex Miner, but right now I am playing around, and what you're looking at here is my nice hash dashboard. I have the first rig, rig two, it is all those horrible 3080 Ti LHR cards, which are now actually giving me well above 94 mega hash, which is what I was getting with the uh, latest T-Rex minor release. So this is looking good. But one thing I notice is the efficiency isn't perfect. I mean, this is good. I can get this one better. But it's an art to use the um, nice hash quick minor OC tuner. And I did another video on that where I just kind of tweaked around. And uh, it's just, it's an art to get it to the point where it doesn't crash your Windows machine. Uh, you'll get memory errors, you'll get TDR, time delay response errors on the graphics cards if you don't set the clocks within threshold. If you go too high on memory or something like that, or maybe the driver gets wonked out and it just crashes. And right now, this has been up quite a long time. I mean, I'm going to say 12 hours, close to 12 hours now, which is good. Last night, I was playing around with the overclocks and it was kind of crashing. Uh, every hour. I don't know what I did, but I was also running NB minor on and off. So I don't know if there's something going on there where they tweak the driver or something's getting put in that's getting corrupted by both drivers. So I reinstalled NiceHash, reset the overclocks to, to whatever their uh, settings are over here using light, medium, or um, high, and then just went there and did my uh, overclocks again to kind of lower the power usage and keep the uh, temps at bay. But again, I can't control the, mem the memory temps on these damn cards. They run hot, and as I said, they don't make copper thermal plates for these uh, tough 3080 Ti Aces cards. So I'm stuck with it, and I'm not gonna replace the thermal pads. I've done that on another one. It didn't make any difference. And I think those were the GPU riser thermal pads, and I even tried Amazon thermal pads and nothing, no joy. Oh yeah, so today's video, I don't know, let's do let's do some tweaking. I was going to try the new, um, I was going to try MB Minor on my 3070 Ti, but I don't want to even play with it. I maybe want to, I don't know, let's think about this. What do we want to do here? This is always the decision. You've got a big rig here running, albeit the efficiency on these bottom three is not the greatest. And the power is, eh, all right, we're hanging around 300. That's acceptable. This card here has always been a pain in the butt. It draws a lot of power. I don't know why. Uh, we can mess with this where I'm getting decent hash rate. Or we can go down to 3070 uh, Ti, and we can try to lower that power, which isn't too bad because when I was running T-Rex Miner, and um, I was getting in the range of 170 to high 180s, 189 and stuff like that when I when I had the uh, absolute core clock setting set. So I'm not sure what I want to play with. This is fine to me. You know, sometimes it's best not to touch something if it's working. Otherwise, you'll be spending all day, all day trying to fix it. Oh my God! Let's figure this out here. Um, you know what I can do? I'm going to see what was causing my crash error. I know I can get the card one up to 120. And I'm going to run that and see if that is what was giving me my windows crashing, my um, B, what is it, BCOD, blue screen of death. So let's let's jump into that rig remotely. Uh, let's go over here. 
Let's get out of this rig. I was going to play with this rig, but I decided not to. Not right now. Let's go back to disconnect. Uh, let's go to number two. Who does number two work for? Let's go. Dum, dum, dum. All right. I'm not going to mess with. Oh, man. No, nah, I'm not going to mess with MB minor. Things are working right now. And I got so tired of trying to. I got MB minor crashes too. It would run a little bit and it just kind of crash out. And I don't know if I was setting things right. I was setting in the batch file and I was setting in the uh, MSI afterburner with no luck. Uh, but I'll spend time on that later. All right, let's go here. Full screen. All right. And what you can do to get this uh, OC tool again, you just go down to this carrot right here, up arrow. And you click on the up arrow. Blammo, and you get the um, nice hash. You get the nice hash icon. You right click, of course. You get the OC tuner, which is the uh, quick miner. OC tuner, and uh, to mess with this thing in your dashboard, you have to be in optimized manu manual mode. You have to be in manual mode, otherwise nothing's gonna nothing's gonna stick, and it's gonna tell you that. And what's nice here, this is a real time updated uh, HTML table. It's gonna tell you what's going on, so you don't even need the dashboard runner. You can get a, you get the stats all right here, and we can start tweaking some of these numbers. Um, what do we want to do here? Let's do the first one because I know I have some numbers on that from last night. And I want to see if that was the culprit which caused Windows to crash. Uh, let's see. So we go down here. Let's pick um, device zero. I always go to the alternative alternative method of overclocking. And what do we got? One three nine five for the uh, core clock limit. Alrighty, alright, that is good. And one zero one five one which I know is stable, and that's the memory clock, absolute. Uh, let's crank this puppy up to 10500. So here on device uh, 1, 0, actually device 0, we are 115, 281 watts. Efficiency 408. 115, 281, 408. And let's go over here. And let's kick this in. So I made the changes. I have the device zero set. Let, let's hit single. Blammo. And you'll see over here, it gets kicked in, right? Now device zero is going to spike up, hopefully to 120. And uh, we'll see if the efficiency goes up as well. So we're going to 115, 281 watts, 409. I just want to, I, I want to get that efficiency higher, but not use more power. All right, we're using a little more power, but the efficiency efficiency jumped to 416, and we're at 120. And I'm using memory 10500. All right, I'm gonna let this run. You know, which just pretty much just gave me five extra mega hash on the card. Is it gonna keep my rig up? That's the problem. Uh, I was messing with this last night, and one of these cards, Windows hates it. I think Windows hates device. Three, I'm guessing, but we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm gonna let this one run and not muck with other ones. If I get the window blue screen of death, I'm gonna isolate that card, device zero. And what you do there is you can just go to your dashboard, right? Blammo, come on, buddy. There we go. You can disable all the other cards and then that lets you focus on one card and hopefully isolate any issues with overclock settings or card issues uh, instead of trying to figure it out with six cards. It's a pain in the butt. So there we got reported 120 and 289 watts and the efficiency went up uh, to 0 0.42. Let's go back to the console. What are we showing here? 415 efficiency. Okay, 416. Okay, that did go up. Yeah, it went up from 409. 2415 efficiency. All right, good. A little more juice being drawn. Okay. And I'm going to let that run. So stand by. I'll be back. Okay, so we have been running a little bit here with the uh, new overclock setting for device zero. Holding at 119 plus uh, power 288 efficiency 412. I'm going to leave that one as is. 
uh, let's go and save this configuration. So you can go into OC Tune if you want to save the stuff you have done. And this is a good, uh, a good idea because if you do crash or your Windows crashes, it'll come back up. Nice hash will come up and say, hey, we noticed it crashed. Do you want to reset to the, to the default settings? Say, yeah, and I'll use these settings that you saved. So I'm going to say, go ahead, save it. They'll save it. They're committed to this command file. Just text file in your system and they will be applied the next time excavator is started. Okay, let's do it. And again, I have been documenting my stuff right here. So let's go and I'll show you where we are at right now. So hold on. All right, here are my settings. Device zero, core clock limit 1395. And of course we set it to that and we're getting 119 efficiency 412. I mean, we can try, no, all right, let's leave that go. Let's leave that alone because 120 is supposed to be the magic number on these 3080 Ti's. All right, which one shall we mess with next? I don't like this device three. This one irks me. It's got the lowest efficiency and it's burning a lot of watts, man. It's using a lot of wattage. And uh, I am willing to sacrifice watts, or I sacrifice mega hash for watts. So let's go look at device three. Go over to your OC Tune webpage, device three. Make sure it matches device three. All right, let's tweak this thing. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's try lowering the clock to 10100, 10,100. And let's see what effect this has. It may crash it, but we don't know. I'm actually lowering it, so hopefully it won't crash. All right, so we're at 114, 305 with a 376. And I hit single with that device selected and it'll kick in those overclock settings. All right. Exciting stuff, man. Exciting stuff. But once you get it tuned in, then you got to start all over again if you switch uh, minors. Like if you get an MB minor or a T Rex minor, sometimes you got to set those overclocks to work with that software. Sometimes you don't, but in general, you do. All right. We dropped one watt and efficiency is the same. All right, not much effect. Usually I give it a longer time to iterate through, but usually nice has is really kind of good. It gives you feedback within a very fast amount of time. All right, let's go. Where are we at? 370, same, same, same. All right, dropping a mem. I'm just curious, let's just drop her down another 100. And I'm on number three, and let's rock. So we're at 304, 114, 304, 376. All right, that made a big difference. Device three, why can't I select it? All right, device three, uh, we have 112, dropped a bit of mega hash, but the power dropped hugely. Well, yeah, 10 to 14 watts, and that's fine. And efficiency is 386. So I went up by 10. So that is interesting. I wonder if we can do better. Let's do better. All right, 113. Now, oh, now I'll jump back up. 301 and the efficiency drop back down. All right, you got to let it settle. Got to let it settle. Sometimes the card may be crap. I mean, the card, this card is very finicky. It might have been the one I dropped. I don't know. <laughs> All right, not much joy on that. Let's do, what if I drop the core limit? Let's do that. One, we're at 1395. Let's go to 1305. I did this before, I think. Hit single, see if that affects it. I'd rather burn less watts right now. One, again, I was only getting 93, 94 mega hash on these cards, so this is all gravy right now I'm playing with. So I'm looking for the best efficiency. Ah, come on, man. All right, let's give it another round here. Yeah, efficiency is not doing much. The uh, hash to power ratio is about the same. So let's drop this down. I'm just curious. Let's go down 1250 on the mega on the uh, core clock limit. 
All right, let's give it one more iteration. We are at 113 mega hash on device three. 299, that's good. I'm below 300 for now. Efficiency is uh, up just one point. Oh, well. Okay, this one seems to be holding. Let, let's up the memory clock to where we were before. Whoops, I just select it. Let's just do 10150 and see what happens here. Hope it doesn't crash it. All right, it set it. When you see the power mode set to high, that means it took it. Yeah. Core clock max set to 1245, yep. And then memory clock delta 899, okay. Okay, we are 115, 303. We're kind of mm, got a little better efficiency, but again, the power watt usage is up. All right, let's try 102. Let's go 102. Where are we at right now? 114 at 303, 379. Now, when you start messing with the memory and inching it upwards, that's when you'll probably crash out. That had absolutely really no effect on it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's use the increment button here. Let's go up to 102.50. Okay, device three, we now have 116, 306, 379 efficiency. All right. 304, 306. Okay. I'd like to get that watt usage down. Okay, so on device three here, I am still playing with the overclocks. And I decided to go back to the NiceHash dashboard and do one of their presets. So I hit the light option. But if we go look at it, let's go log in here. And you will see the efficiency dropped on their preset, which is in their software, their configuration for this card. Uh, let's go scale to fit full screen, baby. All right. So device three, 113 dropped in hash and power went up and efficiency dropped. So what I'm going to do is go back to my overclock setting on this card just because it was more efficient. It wasn't sucking so much power. So what I do is go light, manual mode, kablamo. And we'll go back and we'll look and see what happened. All right, it kicked in right here, this stuff right here in the middle. That's that's the command that went down. So we'll hopefully see the power drop and the efficiency go back up above 376. I don't think I have to. Oh, let's see. Let's see if it does. I might have to actually kick in the settings. Let's go look at my settings. Let's give it a minute. Uh... Oh, yep, I got to go kick it in. So when you do that, guys, you got to go kick in your overclocks right away. So three is 101.51, Well, let's just do this. That's what I had before. Yeah, if you switch to manual, right? If you switch right to manual, you better go make sure your overclocks are set because it may just start running really hot or out of control. So that's what just happened there. Uh, let's see if this kicks in. Let's get back to my known state of 76%. Efficiency, this card is problematic for me, but oh well. Again, I was only getting 93 mega hash, so 109, 114, whatever, is a, is a, nice, uh, is a nice benefit. All right, here we go. Still a little high on the power. We will drop something down and get that below. So we're at 373. Let's go back 1350. 10126. Let's give it a through a, a couple minutes here. The top two I got dialed in. I could go higher on device zero. Uh, device one I have dialed in. I don't want to get higher because it will crash. So each card overclocks differently. So don't just grab somebody's overclocks 
start with the base and know how to tune your own card. That's what I'm trying to learn here. Each card has its own personality. Uh, I don't know if they call that the silicone lottery, whatever. It's just each card is different and it drives you nuts sometimes. But when I would run TDRX Minor, yeah, I just would just do one setting, uh, one set of overclocks across all the cards, and it would mine the best it could, and I was pleased with that. So this is not too bad. Where are we at? 377, 304 power, 114. Um, yeah, 101 to 6. Let's see what the other guys are set at. 10151. Let's up the memory on the uh, device 3. And uh, power is the same. Wait, wait, it's 1395, one, 10151. Now let's leave the power. Oh. 95. 10151. Anyway, I am in learning mode. I'm just trying to figure this crap out just to become better at this GPU mining stuff. A lot to it. There's a lot to it. And, uh, you know, Windows is a beast to deal with. I'm sure it's a lot easier maybe in Hive OS. I don't know. But that is, that's a whole other suite of stuff. you got to worry about drivers and stuff. But it might be a lot easier. I don't know. I like kind of brute forcing it. Uh, look at that. We got a better efficiency rate. Uh, about the same. Sorry. 370. Yeah, 377. 378 better hash rate. So above 300. That's fine. That car's even in T-Rex Minor. I was pulling over 300 on some of these uh, lower uh, ROG Strix 3080 Ti cards. And I did mess around with the bottom two. You can see those settings. Let's go to five. And I went above uh, the memory on, I went above 10,200 10, and it would crash. So again, you go, you keep pushing, you keep tweaking up until you can't tweak no more. And then you get the blue screen death, TDP error, memory error, memory management error. And that usually means your overclocks are uh, just too high. All right, let's do it one more round here and see where we're at. That's the best I'm going to do. I don't want to push it anymore. I can let their miners, their uh, settings, their uh, presets run. But I don't want to burn so much watts. I'm trying to be efficient as possible. And this isn't looking too bad. I'm pleased with the top three cards and again that's what you're going to get sometimes you take what you get and you do your best these vrams have always been hot i can't do a thing about it as mentioned uh tried thermal pads and paste didn't do it didn't do a damn thing uh and there are no copper plates for that model asus and we got an error it crash did it crash hold on something went toes up i still have my screen i think Yep. All right, my Windows is still up. So, it's still running. Maybe the dashboard died. Hold on. Let me just reload the page. It's always something. Oh, crap. It looks like it's running. It is running. I don't know what is wrong with the dashboard. This, I must have just screwed something up. All right, I killed something. So, <laughs> hold on, guys. I'm sure, oh my God, it's out of control. All right, a whole bunch going on here. And we're seeing it real time, and I'm recording it. So this is awesome. All right, let's go up to, let's just. Kill it. Ah. <laughs> all right we are back i had a, a crash i must have twerked the uh, ocs a little too much and it uh froze up my windows box so i rebooted and i'm back up and so that's what happens every card like i was saying is different you got to go and tweak it accordingly you can use their presets but again when i was running them the efficiency wasn't the best then i was actually running uh more watts on the same amount of hash by just going in and adjusting the overclocks. So what do I have right now? Uh, things are spinning up right now. Uh, give it a minute to report. This just, there we go. All right, we're running. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm used to. Yep, that's what I'm used to seeing. 
so here are here are the settings I have I'm gonna go with on nice hash until T-Rex minor comes out I did try MB minor I might try that again on a different machine I just want to keep this this rig running because it's a ball course rig it's got a lot of mega hash and I hate bringing it down just to be tweaking crap or trying new things so I need like a dedicated test rig and I do have a 3070 Ti which is Mr. LHR King so uh, I want to run MB minor against that guy and see if it gives me the same performance as the uh, nice hash and again I have no trouble no problem with nice hash it is what it is I mean it's pretty painless and uh, I get paid on Bitcoin you can't complain I know the market is completely crapped out right now but again I'm just gonna be stacking coins and get paid on Bitcoin over Ethereum I don't mind mining Ethereum I just want to get paid in Bitcoin because I don't think Ethereum's I don't know this whole POS this developer stuff the Ethereum developers the news the um, the difficulty bomb all this stuff has me concerned that they don't know what they're doing or ha don't have a clear concise marching plan to get to what they want to do and uh, I think if they do do this stuff and push it out the people that are currently making money off the Ethereum platform like the NFT guys are going to be really irked I mean most are really irked with the high gas fees and that's a big people hate that and that's a big black check mark against Ethereum so anyway long rant just basically say I like Bitcoin all right let's show you my settings and let's get let's uh, let's like what well, let, how can we do this let's let uh, let's make like a baby and head out right all right let's get rolling oh here we go all right so here are my settings right now here's my devices here's what I did in the uh, nice hash quick minor OC tune overclocks again if I went higher on these every card is different it's true not every card with this nice hash software acts the same um, for me, I don't know, maybe I'm doing, I'm a totally idiot and doing it wrong, but I'm doing manual settings to be as efficient as possible. When I first came in, I just let the puppies run on high, and oh my God, the power usage was, blammo, we're up in 345, you know, 340 watts, and uh, for an extra couple mega hash, it wasn't worth it. Again, I go from what I had to what I have now, and I'm very grateful that I was at 93 mega hash a couple days ago. Now, my God, I just added over with all my rings 170 mega hash 180 which is like um, six 1660 supers you know can't you can't and that's for free and not much more power or not <laughs> you know what I mean cables and rises I love it so this is where I'm gonna keep it so I don't have to worry about it always crashing and I'm sure some people are doing better and uh, I'm gonna hop on over I'm gonna hop on over like a little bunny like a good little bunny and uh, work on MB minor on my 3070 Ti uh, but uh, here's one last look at my settings right there I think efficiency went up here let's check hold on oh uh, let's see efficiency is 413 409 yes yeah, about that's accurate it fluctuates uh, 385 390 uh, I was 390 this is 390 this is three this went up a little bit yep one this is a uh, try to keep as close to approximate as possible there you go guys there you go just me piddling around and uh, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of time and effort a little frustration with Windows crashing. Again, Hive OS doesn't make life easier. Well, not. I'm sorry. I'm thinking MB Minor. Scratch that. I'm sure MB Minor with Hive OS would be easier because maybe Hive OS is on Linux, and Linux is really the ultimate operating system. Having worked in it for years, Windows is what it is. Uh, it's a necessary evil to get things done sometimes, and that's where I am at. But uh, it takes time, tweaking, tuning, just to learn and play around with this stuff. And But then the uh, pro is you may be running more efficient. The con is your cards are down and they're not working and making you money, uh, even though the market's down. But again, you're still making money stacking uh, Bitcoin. So it's a trade-off. Tuning in. Once things are happy with what you like, just let them run. And sometimes always chasing a shiny object in the backyard can be detrimental. 
Uh, I've done that with my CPU mine rigs. I've been chasing the flashy coin. I said, I'm done with that. I just went back to Raptorium. Why? Because there's a million guys mining Raptorium and the difficulty is down. Everyone must know something else. So I'm going to keep mining that and uh, while I work on getting these GPUs tuned. All right, that's it. I'm going to go do MB Miner right now on my 3070 Ti. And for reference, that is a payout. When you hear that ding, that is a payout from Supernova mining raptorium it is a good sound <laughs> all right let's go down 3070 ti so for reference i have a 3070 ti getting 81 mega hash wow awesome uh and we are 100 percent load uh, let's see pulling 189 which is fine and efficiency is 43 it's running really good on nice hash this cart is really running good i almost hate to mess with it how are my 3060 Ti's doing? Uh, again, you have problematic cards like right here. This one draws the same amount of power, but it's giving me less mega hash. It's it's just it is what it is. You just got to work with it, and um, and go with it. All right, that is it. I'm not, I'm just trying to think what else I can show you. Yeah, here I am deb debating: Do I go after this card and start tweaking with MB Miner, or just wait until things come out? That is all I have, guys. Thanks for spending time with me as I tweak through the old OC tuner, breaking stuff, rebooting. Uh, that's how you learn. You just got to go with what maybe they give you on nice ash. Look at the power going, oh, my God, and look at the efficiency right here and say, am I happy with that? Is it generating more heat in my uh, server room or my room or my grow tent? And, uh, and then uh, adjust accordingly. So, all right, there you go. I am out of here. I will talk to you later. Keep mining. Let me know what you guys are up to. All right, take care.